Hey everyone, it's me, Psychedelic Babe, and I'm back again with my JBL Pro Scan Testing Kit. Now, I did a video earlier reviewing this product and I was quite happy with the results. Um, in the test, now we'll go back to the test because it does actually save it. In the test that we did before, it told me that my hardness was high and that my nitrates were also high. So, since then, I have done a water change. I took out five buckets, which is 50 litres. It's a 200 litre tank. So I took out five buckets. Then, I added a little bit of pH buffer to higher the pH. And I replaced some of the Epsom salts with taking five buckets out, so I got them replaced. Fish are doing great, tank looks amazing. And here I am doing another water test. In this glass, I've got a glass of Metrovius water. In this glass, I have got a glass of nicely fresh poured tap water. Now, I've done a little bit of research into this. I didn't think I ever would, but I have, and we'll go into that test in a minute. First of all, we'll test the Metrovius tank. So, same process as before, we take our test strip. Now, I've got to admit the light's slightly different now because it's evening, so whether that makes a difference or not, I'm not entirely sure. So, we go over to our app and we tap Aquarium and we click Start. And we got 60 seconds. We put our strip in the water, give it a shake, give it a tap, and then we place it nicely onto the the colour chart there and we leave it for the 60 seconds as you all know the process before it's pretty much the same um, yeah I like this test I think it's easy it's simple and it's instant you know if something goes wrong in your tank you want to know what it is there and then you don't really want to be waiting 20 25 minutes while you're doing a more vigorous test and I've also found that this test actually tests for seven things whereas the opposite test only tests for five. So, yeah, this tests for an extra two things. So that's quite interesting to know. Oh yeah, I'm quite pleased with the product so far. So let's see what the Trophius Water is now saying. So there you go, it's took an image and it's given me a reading. My nitrate is at 40, my nitrate is not. my hardness is at 21 still, carbon hardness is at 6, pH has gone up to 7.2, chlorine's at 0, carbon dioxide's at 15, so we'll click details, and it's saying the same thing, that my nitrates are still too high. Even though I've done a water change and added a bit of filter aid, like it told me to do in the last one. So, that's quite actually interesting. I will we'll save their measurements and we'll test it again in the morning and see if there's any difference. So that's quite interesting because it did actually recommend that I did add some filter aid, if you remember in the last video. So that's what I did. I added some filter aid, I did a bit of a water change, I added some filter aid. I've got my buffer in there and it's only raised it 0.2. So I'm a little bit sceptical, so whether it's actually the tank that's wrong or the test, I'm not 100% sure, I'm not going to like say it is or it isn't, because at the moment I really don't know what's going on. So if anyone can help me out with that, then yeah, please do feel free to leave a comment below, I'll be highly grateful if you can. So enough on the trophies test, we'll put that to one side, and we'll give the card a bit of a wipe. And now we'll move on to the tap water. This is the plain tap water. And it's just poured straight from the tap straight into the glass. <clears throat> now before I actually go into this, I actually did a bit of research. And I went on the United Utilities website. And it's given me my water source and my water supply of where my water's coming from. And it's telling me that once I get to the bottom, it'll tell me all the things I need to know about my water. Now if I go right to the bottom and I 
click on here view details reports this will tell me in a lot more detail of what it is now my water is soft and my pH should be between let's see if we can find it sorry for the blur going through everything that's in our water there's quite a lot of things in our water it's quite interesting to read it I was certainly surprised when I was reading it that's for sure so we keep flickering through we'll get to it in a minute <laughs> I'm sure we will it is here I did see it nitrate nitrite so yeah Here we go, pH. Minimum should be 6.95, average is 7.19, max is 7.42. And they did 74 samples of this water to get to that. So, now that we know what my pH should be, if we go back a page, it tells me my water hardness. Now it says, the water supply to this area can vary in hardness from very soft to soft. The supply is low in naturally occurring fluoride and is not artificial fluoridated. For further information, see the link on the left of my drinking water quality. So we know we've got soft water and we know that the pH should be around about 7. So let's put the app back on. And let's take out another test strip. Now this time, instead of pressing Aquarium, we're going to press Water. So we click on Water, and it's the same process, you just press Start, and you dip your test strip in your water. Three seconds. Give it a little shake. Line it up on the board. It's quite fiddly to do with one hand. So that's lined up and we just wait for the 40 seconds. Now I'm quite interested to see what this is. A few people have asked me what my water actually tests as and I've never really been able to tell them because I don't know. Um, if you're a regular follower of my YouTube channel, you'll know that I don't really test my waters. I've never needed to. Well, I felt that I've never needed to. I do regular water changes. I do everything I'm supposed to do. And I very rarely have any deaths in any of my tanks. And I usually just wait until my, tap, my fish tell me that there's something wrong. I know that's the wrong way of doing it and I'm realising that now. And I am learning and this is helping a lot. So now let's take a picture of our test kit. There you go. It's took the picture. And these are the results. Nitrate, zero. Nitrite, zero. Total hardness, three. So that's not too bad. Carbonate hardness is 4.5. pH is 6.8. Chlorine, zero. Carbon dioxide, 20. So yeah, that's a pretty accurate result. So I can actually say that there is something wrong with my trophyous water. There's got to be. There's no two if way but to bar it. So, I am going to follow up on this video and I am going to go and do a different test on this Trophius water and see what results I get from that. Now obviously, the next test that I do, it won't have as many options as this test has. So what the results will be, I'm a little unsure. So, thanks for watching my video. If you can help me out at all with any of these numbers or anything that I've displayed in these videos then do please feel free to leave me a comment below that's what the comment section's for and at the end of the day I'm here to open to anybody's revealments if you can enlighten me on anything then please feel free to do so because at the end of the day I'm here to learn and if I didn't want to learn then I wouldn't show you what I'm showing you so if you can help me out I highly appreciate it to leave a comment below um, I look forward to doing the next test. 
So from me, Psychedelic Babe, and my crazy water tests, hope you have a pleasant evening, whatever you're doing. And remember, I love you all. Have a good one. Bye for now.